Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Super Mario Bros. 3. We're going back to look at the stuff that I missed. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have Luigi use his frog suit here. Because there's something in this level that I need the frog suit for that I didn't show. So we're gonna want to swim past the cheap cheap, the blooper, and then there should be a big Bertha here. There we go, and you can only get through here if you have the frog suit. And whoa, that was close. And we can go into this pipe here. And we got some coins up there. We got three lives here. And we come out here. Uh... I didn't really show up above where I am now very well last time, so I think I'll try to do that right now. Just while I'm here. Because I thought I could s we could see a lot of it from down where we were, but there's actually something we couldn't see. This note block here with a fire flower. Now, I actually don't want to finish this level, because there's something else I need to show off in it that I didn't show last time. And that's something Mario will be able to show. By the way, when I replayed through this world, I won on those slot machines twice. They were both just mushrooms, but still, I fail to do the slap machines every single time throughout the LP. And then... <laughs> I win twice off-screen. Anyway, so yeah, you go up here, you got the little uh, one up there. And you're at the end of the level. That's pretty much it. It's everything that I didn't show in that level. So now, let's just head back to uh, Luigi here, who's got to make a pretty long trek back for this. But I also didn't quite show everything in level 610 here. Because there is something that I just had no clue how to do. But I know how to do it now. Uh, first we're gonna wanna hit that. Then we're gonna wanna get through here. Get out of here. I need this fire flower, and I don't want you hitting me. Can I even flame him? There we go. Alright, now... With our fire flower here, we want to... Unblock this pipe, kind of, even though we really can't, because there's those plants there. But now what we want to do is we want to backtrack. And apparently, uh, this P-switch over here not only turns the brick blocks to coins, it also turns those plants into coins. So yeah, that's how you do that one, and in here, we get a Hammer Bro suit. So that is pretty nice. And you just come out here. So that is pretty much all for World 6. Now we're gonna wanna go back to World 1. 
And I'm actually gonna cut the video because I'm gonna have to replay through most of World 1. So I'll see you in a second. Hey, look at that! I got it on camera! Woohoo! Now, for real though, I gotta cut up to that hammer, bro. <laughs> Alright, we didn't fight this hammer bro in the LP because we turned him into the coin ship, but we get to fight him now! Whoa, and I... he almost actually hurt me. That would have been embarrassing. And we get a star for our troubles. That was fast. I'll cut to the castle. Alright, here we are. I'm gonna change into my frog suit. Cause, theoretically, this should be the easiest airship to do this on. So let's try to beat an airship while being the frog. Just look at him hop like that super fast. You gotta love it. Okay. And I know for a fact that I am always more than one black tall with this. I've learned from my mistakes. That was really close and scary. No! Come on! Okay, well one other thing that I can show here is that when we did our little battle game footage, we I don't think I quite showed everything. Because apparently I didn't know everything about it, so... Okay, I heard that you can just go to the other character's space to do battle, but no, you do in fact have to go to them. And I'm just gonna lose here, because uh, I want to play as Mario for the airship. Apparently there's some Mario Bros. levels that we didn't actually see in the battle game video. Like, there's one with a pipe spewing out coins or something. So, I'm probably gonna do a separate battle game video again, because we also didn't play the battle game mode from the title screen, which actually does play a bit differently. So if I can't show the the story mode battle game stuff in this video, then I'll just do it in the other one. But if I can show it in this video, that would be nice. Now I don't have too many tries to actually do this. So I gotta be careful. If I fail this, I'll only have one more try. Alright. Don't give me trouble, Larry. Okay, good, we did it. And we are falling back down, and what does the king say now? Oh me, oh my, you've been transformed. Shall I change you back with this wand? So yeah, now we've seen all three of the king's special messages. Uh, I think I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time just doing battle mode here, trying to get 
that one, uh, that one level with the pipe spewing coins. I think that's the only one we're missing. If it's not, then I'll be sure to show it in the other battle game video. Thankfully, I can get in and out of this really fast. Because I remember when we did the battle game video, um, we did get the one where there's just coins scattered around the level. Yeah, this one. So theoretically, like that happened in about the same amount of time as it did before, so theoretically you just have to play this enough times to actually get to the one you want. And I think that was the fourth time to be the bonus, so I'm assuming that if I just lose three more times here, I should get to a new bonus round, because I think that's how this works. So, I just have to lose one more time here. And there are differences between these rounds, because you see it's starting with a different enemy. Also, did we ever show the fireball? Oh, here, here's the round where, the, where it spews coins and fire, apparently. That's interesting. I think that's the only other one there is. You know, I'm actually gonna look it up quick whether or not there's more. Okay, so apparently there is another level, which we should be able to get to, uh, right now, actually. So let's go! Yeah, here we go. We've got ladders to climb, and... Oh! What? Okay. That's how you do that. You can almost, like, pick him up and kick him or something. Yeah, if you press the run button next to him, you kick him. I didn't realize you could just go and kick question mark blocks. Wow. And the two right next to us at the start had coins. What do you know? So, I'm pretty sure that that is it. I'm just gonna play three more rounds off screen just to make sure. Alright, is there more? No, it just goes back to this bonus round. Okay. Fair enough. I... I am gonna have to do a, you know, another video sh uh, showing the title screen version of the battle game. And I might come back and do this one again in that video, just so I get to experience those in multiplayer. I'm not sure. It'll be a while till that video gets made anyways, probably. Unless I can do it the week after Christmas, because... Uh, Wild Shiny Kirby's usually pretty busy nowadays. But hopefully we'll be able to make that video soon. Uh, until then, I'm just gonna have to make the Boss Bash video for this game. And then, uh, that'll be it for Mario 3. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go make that boss bash video, and then start my Ape Escape 2 LP. 
So I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.